When I was a kid, I thought I wanted to be a pediatrician because I had a pediatrician and it seemed cool. I never knew anybody who worked in tech. My name is Laura Weidman Powers. I am a native New Yorker, but I live in San Francisco, California. I am the co-founder and CEO of a nonprofit called Code 2040. I started Code 2040 after spending two years working at a tech startup myself, and I really got a sense of the power of the engineering skill set. But going out into the industry, I saw a real lack of diversity. I was often the only person that looked like me in the rooms that I was in. For a lot of students, if they can't see somebody who looks like them achieving what they want to achieve, they may think that it's not possible. Code 2040 gets its name from the fact that in the year 2040, people of color will be the majority in the US. So for companies to thrive, they're going to have to figure out how to attract, hire, and retain diverse talent. Black History Month is a time to reflect and think about all of the achievements of African Americans. And so having somebody like John Henry Thompson to hold up as an example is invaluable. John Henry Thompson was always interested in computer language. John attended a prestigious university where he earned a degree in computer science with a minor in visual arts. He soon became chief scientist at a technology company where he developed one of his most famous inventions, Lingo Programming. Lingo is still used today to create a lot of the visuals found in video games, web design, animation, and graphics. John Henry Thompson is truly a pioneer in the technology industry. If John Henry Thompson were here right now, I would have a million questions, and I'd want his advice. I would want to ask him what I could do to help inspire and support more young African Americans to get into the tech industry. 